AASQ stands for the American Society for Quality, and this organization has been at the forefront of the quality movement for more than 65 years. Headquartered in Milwaukee, AASQ traces its beginnings to the end of World War II. As quality experts and manufacturers sought ways to sustain the many quality improvement techniques used during wartime, ASQ has played a crucial role in upholding these standards from the past while, at the same time, championing continued innovation in the field of quality. By the end of the 1970s, the principles of quality had greatly influenced manufacturing and other industrial processes by focusing attention on how products and services could define and meet technical specifications. Businesses typically established a quality control department to ensure specifications were met. In the 1980s, AASQ members began to see how quality could be applied beyond the world of manufacturing. Quality, they realized, could make a difference in any organization and touch every person in it. Quality began to blossom into a much broader discipline, aimed at leading, inspiring, and managing a broad range of businesses and activities, always with a focus on excellence. Today, ASQ has become a global organization with members in more than 130 countries. ASQ now has service centers in Mexico, China, and India, and has established strategic alliances with numerous organizations to promote ASQ's products and training. A rich history and bright future, we are ASQ, the global force of quality." End quote. Now, this is just my opinion, but I do feel that the ASQ Six Sigma Black Belt is one of the, if not the most respected black belt on the planet. So this is how the ASQ Six Sigma Black Belt exam breaks down. The majority of the questions are around measure, analyze, and improve. Organizational process management and measures along with design for Six Sigma are represented here. So there aren't a whole lot of questions that cover these sections within the body of knowledge. Each quiz and exam in this course is set up with the same structure ASQ uses. There may not be as many questions on the quizzes, but I've used percentages to keep true to the ratios. I've also adjusted the quiz and exam times to reflect the number of questions. Don't worry about that right now. We'll discuss it more later in this course. Just wanted you to be familiar with the way ASQ breaks down their questioning structure. And that's the end of this module. And that's pretty much how all these modules will go. There will be some additional PDF downloads as we process through, but this is the basic setup of the course. All right, I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you in the next module.